Extreme 3D McDonald's Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a Extreme 3D McDonald's design. And nothing is 4D about it, but I just love how dimensional it is because everything sticks up off the nail as if the nail is, say, a tray. And so you've got the little drink, which I would put iced tea in it if it were me, but you could put Coca-Cola if you want, same color combination. Whatever you want it to be in your head is basically what it is. So it's got the little cup, and then there's a little carton of fries that is pouring over the nail, and then a very, very tall 3D Big Mac with all the fixins. So I hope you like this design as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to just begin with an overlay of a cover pink acrylic on top of the entire nail just to keep it really simple and smooth and not distract from all of the art that's on top of the nail. And since both the wrapper from the Big Mac and the cup are white, a white background just wouldn't look, wouldn't show up as well. So now I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure it is nice and smooth and a perfect little tray for all of that food. Let's just go over the top of the whole thing. Really file it down, make sure it's got a nice smooth barrel shape to it. And now in a nail form backing, I'm going to begin sculpting each and every layer of that Big Mac. So there's the three buns, but I'm going to start by just working on two of them. Why you ask? I don't really know. I should have just done three all at once. Sometimes I forget things. I actually legitimately did forget about the third bun until I was at about this point. I was like, hey, wait a minute, I'm missing one. And then I figured I'd just finish off these ones before starting the other one. So just sculpt them as close to the same size as you can. The one thing to keep in mind is that they aren't all the same as far as some of them are top buns and some of them are bottom buns. So the top bun, you want to have more of a dome shape, whereas the two bottom buns, you want them to be a little bit more of a disc shape. So as you can see that I padded one out a little flatter than the other one. That's the reason. So make sure that one has, like I said, a bit more of that dome. So then with a dark brown, I'm going to be sculpting the patties of the Big Mac. We got two of those and it's funny, it looks almost black in the video, but it is just a really dark brown. So I'm going to leave those. Those are going to be a little thinner than your burgers. And there's my other bun. Yeah, see, I forget these things every once in a while. I haven't, I can't even tell you guys the last time I actually ate a Big Mac. It's been probably 10 years since I had a Big Mac, but you know, it's one of those just iconic foods and I'm so into sculpting and making food, I couldn't help myself. So, of course, a Big Mac was on my list for a while now just because it's so, like I said, it's so iconic and so everybody knows what a Big Mac is. So, I just had to. So, I'm going to be doing those two, those two burger patties and same thing, you want to try to keep them as close to that circle size from the burger buns as you can. If you have one of those nail practice sheets that have all the little circles on it for making your different size of beads of acrylic, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, those practice pages. Um, I've seen different nail art trainers and different nail educators use them in the past. If you have one of those on hand, you could certainly use those as a stencil or a template for making the same size for each of these pieces. So I'm going to sculpt a square of orange and the square is going to be just slightly bigger than the circles. So I think the circle could just fit inside of it. And that's going to be for the layer of cheese. So you're going to sculpt that square of soon to be cheese and then just leave it there until it begins to set up. And I'm going to do a second one of those. There really is only one layer of cheese on a Big Mac. The second layer of orangey stuff is actually the special sauce. But for this purpose, it was just easier to do two that were the same thing just because you can quickly pick this up and put it down. As you can see, when it starts to get set up enough, just pick it up and put it down onto the lower bun. And then for the second one, you're going to pick it up and put it onto the middle bun. If you wanted to do, you know, something different so that it was identifiable between cheese versus the special sauce, you could just take and sculpt little bits of the sauce around the edge of the burger. But I did like to have a smooth layer of things. As you can see, everything's kind of, I'm trying to keep it all like smooth. And see, I kind of messed up that square anyway so it looks a little bit less cheesy and a little bit more saucy then for that little bit of green I had there was actually a bead of white and green it's kind of marble together I'm going to take little pieces of it as you can see I'm just kind of scooping up sections with the tip of my brush and laying them down that's going to be for the lettuce quickest easiest lettuce I've ever sculpted I was so pleased with how I did that because it was really just quick and easy. I'm going to put a little clear acrylic down to act as a glue and a filler and place down one of the burger patties, press it down and press it into the lettuce. And then you're going to take and dip a bead of clear acrylic into some white glitter. It's just a, 
white hexagon glittery, pretty basic stuff. And I'm going to use that as my onion layer. I couldn't figure out, you know, if I really wanted to sculpt onions or if I even, I consider just skipping them. But then when I thought about doing that, it worked really well. And then set on that second burger bun that has the special sauce on top of it. Press that into the, into the onions. And then with a slightly darker green, I'm going to sculpt three pickles on top of the special sauce. So just place down those three beads and pat them out. What I love about this is that if you say could take it apart and look at every single layer, I've got all the layers on here. So then we're going to do another layer of lettuce. So that same thing, a bead of white and green. So to do that, if you guys haven't ever done a bicolor bead before, is you dip it into the lighter color first, regardless of whatever it is that you're doing, and then into the darker color. So you'd always go white and then green or white and blue or light blue, dark blue, whatever it is, always go into the lighter color first. Press that mixed lettuce color out on the nail form backing, let it sit up for a couple seconds. And then you're going to go through the same thing and I'm just going to pick up little sections of it. I waited a tad too long that time because it wasn't pulling out quite as easily as the first time. Works a little better with when the acrylic is still a bit moist. And then I'm going to grab the next burger bun or the burger patty, I mean, and put it on. And as you can see, your Big Mac is really getting some nice height on it, which is what I wanted. I want it to be kind of an exaggerated design so then i got that last one another layer of onions that same uh, little bit of clear acrylic dipped into some white glitter press on the top burger bun and now i'm going to start i'm going to sculpt a square of white acrylic and this is going to be for the little wrapper that goes underneath the burger so you have two choices when you're doing a big mac like this is typically they would come in a box but I just didn't think I had space on the nail because I wanted to have the Big Mac and I wanted to have the fries and I wanted to have the drink. So I thought I got to really think about how to cut down the space. So it didn't look, obviously this is a cluttered nail, but I didn't want it to be too much. <laughs> so I decided that a little wrapper was probably a better way to go. So I'm going to sculpt out that white square, fold it over, not perfectly in half, but looks like it's just kind of crumpled and discarded and then place that over the corner of the nail going to fold it a little bit more, give it some more really natural looking wrinkles and movement. And then I'm going to put some clear acrylic down to act as glue when I put on my Big Mac. I'm just going to hold that there for that acrylic to start to set up so it won't fall off. And then we can go ahead and start working on the next item on the tray. So the next one up on the list is going to be the cup for my drink. And so the cups are, the McDonald's cups are just white with the yellow McDonald's arches on it. So for the white cup, I'm going to take white acrylic and sculpt it around a plastic drinking straw and just kind of tuck the sides in and try to get it as close to, you know, nice smooth lines on the top and bottom as possible. If it's not smooth, it's not a huge deal because you can always file those afterwards, which you'll probably see me do um, anyways, but get those nice and straight at a second layer. You do want this cup to be thick enough that when you try, you kind of have to manhandle it to get the straw out. So when you go to get the straw out, it doesn't just break on you. So you don't want to have to worry about it being too delicate. So apply enough thickness to the acrylic that it is sturdy. And then after that is all set up, you can cut off that section of straw and then make a couple different slits in it. And then, like I said, you have to actually manhandle it. I always use a tweezers and I kind of push and pull and twist the straw and all of a sudden it'll just loosen and come right out but it always takes a moment and see there it goes comes right out and I'm going to take a hand file and quickly just clean up the top and the bottom of the cup to really smooth them out and then on a nail form backing I'm going to sculpt a base for the cup or a bottom for the cup so I'm just going to make a circle on that and press the cup into it and then I'm going to glue the cup to the nail with some nail glue hold that in place until it sets up and then with some yellow paint I'm going to be like I said, it's got the yellow McDonald's arches on it. So just paint those on there. And it's really nice and big, the McDonald's arches. So use, you know, make them as big as you possibly can on the cup. All, everything in this design is so small that if your details are really small, they might get missed. And we don't want anybody to question what restaurant this design is from. So we've got that nice big M and then I'm going to take some white paint and add little tiny sesame seed lines on the top of the burger bun. So just little dashed lines in different directions all over the top. And I'm also going to highlight just the rim of the cup with that white paint just to brighten it up a little bit and make it a little bit easier to see, especially once the drink is inside it. So now again with my straw, I'm going to crease it in half so it's got a nice um, flat line on it and then use a pinching tool to hold it closed. 
So now this gives you the shape that the McDonald's fry cups are so that they're not, it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of an oval shape. And by pinching the straw like so, you get that shape. And then once again with white acrylic, I'm going to be sculpting that McDonald's fry carton. But the thing is, is when you go ahead and you finish this, the carton is painted with red and white paint. So if you want to, you don't have to do it with white acrylic. You can do one of those other colors, but and then you won't have to do as much painting is kind of where I'm going with this. But if you want to sculpt them with white, the inside of the cartons are white because the color is only printed on the outside of the carton. So to really have a full realism, I would sculpt them with white and then add the color on the outside. So it just depends on if you want to make life easier on you and sculpt it with red and do less painting or do it the way I did. So same thing, cut off that section of straw and then start beating up the straw plastic to pull it out. Lots of little cuts in there really help for sure and a tweezers because it's the same thing these pieces are still a little bit delicate and fragile so you don't want to you know really beat them up too much but you still have to get that straw out and then just like for the drinking cup i'm going to be adding the bottom to my i was going to say egg carton no to my fry carton and i'm going to paint the outside with the red gel polish so i'm going to as you can see leave just a little bit of the border along the very top of the carton because that's going to be yellow so there's no need to paint it red first just go around all the outside with that red paint bottom two. Cure that as you're curing it in your lamp, spin it so that you cure all sides. And then I'm going to cure, or I'm going to paint the top of that box with a yellow gel polish or gel paint. And just apply that all the way around the full top rim. And then I'm also going to add another McDonald's M or the double arches on the front of the carton. The other thing that I didn't mention is that as you can see the cartons on the front of them have that little indent so that it's another thing that just seems very McDonald's-y, very iconic for McDonald's is that shape. And then I'm going to apply some matte top coat over the entire box so it's not so shiny anymore. Cure that one final time and then I'm going to glue that onto the nail. Hold that in place until it, like I said before, until it kind of grips or grabs. You can feel it. You can definitely tell when the glue is going to hold because it just feels like it's it's really grabbing it. So now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting some fries and I missed some of this recording, but you get the technique down when I show you the ice cubes. So you just sculpt some yellow and then you cut it into pieces. It's pretty uh, basic concept, but I'll see, I'll show you more details of that later. So I'm going to glue all my fries in place. And my favorite way to glue little pieces like this down these days is I have a little bit of nail glue on a palette or a nail form backing next to me and I can just dip each piece in and then that way I don't have to worry about extra glue on the nail that's visible at all because it's only on the piece that I'm gluing instead of trying to put some glue down and assuming where I'm going to put everything and then having it either dry up before I'm ready to and for before the things are placed or getting glue all over the place where it doesn't need to be. So that just seems to be a very effective way that I've been doing that recently. And I'm going to apply fries like they're spilling all over the tray and they're spreading out all over the entire nail as if you accidentally tipped over the carton and they spilled. So you can apply the fry so that they extend beyond the edges of the nail so they can go past the free edge. This design is super extreme. The wrapper from the burger goes off the edge of the nail so you don't have to keep the fries contained to the nail. So now to make the straw for my drink, I'm going to paint a piece of wire with some white gel polish and then add a red stripe on the two sides of it so that it's got that. Because that's another thing. There's all these little things that are classic McDonald's things that you just don't even realize are but then all of a sudden you see them and you're like hey wait a minute yep that's right so I've got my straw finished it's got some top coat on it and then I'm going to sculpt some ice cubes on a nail form backing so I've got clear acrylic and I'm just going to press it out into a pretty solid square and then after that I'm going to let it set up until it really starts to turn matte and this is the same process for making the fries you just cut yellow acrylic into a fry shape instead of clear acrylic into ice cube straight ice cube shapes so then with something I'm using a floss pick I'm just going to dip that into some clear acrylic so it doesn't stick and then that makes your little ice cubes so now I'm going to make some clear sculpture gel with some brown and red gel polish to create my beverage color and so you can use whatever colors you want to make whatever drink it is that you want. And then I'm going to mix my little ice cubes into it. I'm going to reserve two ice cubes to put on top, but the rest of them I'm going to just mix into my little drink concoction. And then after I've got that all mixed up, I'm going to fill in the cup. So just kind of let that gel flow into the cup. If you want to do it in layers so that you can cure it a couple times, that would definitely be an option. 
or if you are like me and the top's going to be cured and nobody's ever going to access the underside, it's okay. It's kind of up to you. But then after I've got that filled, I'm going to kind of just add those two ice cubes that are on top and then press the straw into it, cure it, apply some gel top coat over the little drink inside, some matte gel top coat over my drinking cup and over the top of the burger bun. And after all of that is cured, I'm then going to take some gel sealer on a little brush and I'm going to fill in the background. So every place where I can see that nude nail underneath, I'm just going to apply that. If you wanted to leave it matte, you certainly could. This step is kind of, you know, extra credit if you want to do it. Great. If you don't, you don't have to. But that is it. I absolutely love this design. Doing a McDonald's theme design has been on my to-do list for a couple of years and I've just never really gotten around to it. So I'm so glad I finally got to make this and it is better than I could have ever imagined. So I'm so happy with it. If you decide to make a recreation, please share them with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would absolutely love to see them and I will see you next time. Bye.